But first, we begin tonight with that double homicide. It left a Providence nightclub temporarily shut down. Good evening, I'm Chelsea Jones. Now, this is coming off of a recent spike in crime in the capital city. Police say on Wednesday, a woman was beaten by a group of dirt bike riders. And just last weekend, we reported the shooting that left a 24-year-old innocent bystander dead. Let's get right over to 12 News reporter Matt Paddock, who is picking up our coverage now live with the latest details. Matt. Chelsea, police say that two Boston men were shot and killed outside of Fuego Lounge last night. And that, according to police, this, these are the city's 14th and 15th homicides this year alone. This was the scene Saturday morning as police were called to Broad and West Friendship Streets for reports of a shooting. According to police, when they arrived, they found one man who had been shot and killed, while another was taken to Rhode Island Hospital, where he later died. In a social media post, Providence Police Commander Thomas Verdi says the Providence Board of Licenses held an emergency hearing Saturday, voting to close Fuego Lounge effective immediately, stating that a formal hearing will be held sometime next week. PPD says the victims were 29 and 27, both from Boston. Council President John Igliozzi releasing a statement about Saturday night's violence, saying, quote, Sadly, last night we experienced more violence and loss of life. We cannot allow violence to define our city. Our residents, business owners, and visitors need to feel safe. Mayor Jorge Alorza also commenting on the shooting, saying in a statement that reads in part, the violence we saw in our city last night is beyond inexcusable. While the perpetrators and victims of this violence are likely known to each other, the cycle of gun violence and retaliation must end. These statements coming as state and city officials are calling on state police for help to assist with the recent spike of violence across the capital city. Now, we've reached out to Fuego Lounge for a comment about this incident and have not heard back yet at this time. But reporting live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.